Today's meditation is on the second joyful mystery, the visitation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Preparatory Prayers I begin by placing myself in the presence of God. My God, I firmly believe that Thou art here present, and present in the depths of my soul, as truly as Thou art in heaven, in the midst of Thy angels and saints. O my God and Sovereign Lord, before whom the whole universe is but as dust, I prostrate myself before Thee, acknowledging that Thou art my Creator, and that I am Thy creature, and thus I offer the homage of my whole being to thy supreme majesty. Eternal Father, I adore thee as my creator. Eternal Word, I adore thee as my redeemer. Eternal Spirit, Holy Ghost, I adore thee as the sanctifier of my soul. I now acknowledge my sinfulness and beg God for pardon and strength. Have mercy on me, O God. I humbly confess my nothingness and my wretchedness. I am sorry for my many sins by which I have offended thee and displeased thee. Prostrate before thee, I implore thy grace that I may be converted and do penance. I now pray for divine assistance. Come, Holy Ghost, enlighten my mind, strengthen my will, inflame my heart. I desire to make this meditation by thy light, thy inspiration, and thy love. Holy Mary, Virgin and Mother of Divine Wisdom and Purest Love, bring me the help of God's grace. Saint Joseph, my dear guardian angel and patron saints, come to my aid. I now form my intention. O my Jesus, I offer this meditation for love of Thee, for the conversion of sinners and in reparation for sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. First consideration. Having been told that her cousin Elizabeth had had conceived a child in her old age, Mary went with haste into the hill country to visit and help her cousin. Having entered the house of Zachary, she saluted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the infant leapt in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. And she cried out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. And blessed art thou that hast believed, because those things shall be accomplished that were spoken to thee by the Lord. And Mary responded, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. From henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, because he that is mighty hath done great things to me, And holy is his name. His mercy is from generation unto generations to them that fear him. He hath showed might in his arm and hath exalted the humble. He hath filled the hungry with good things. And Mary abode with her about three months. And she returned to her house. Oh, my God. I love thee, I give thee my will, I desire nothing but that which thou desirest. I seek not consolations from thee, my soul seeks only to please thee, my God, my love, my all.
second consideration, let us consider some similarities between the visitation and Fatima. The Virgin Mary responds immediately to the news from the angel Gabriel that her cousin Elizabeth is expecting. At Fatima, the three shepherd children respond immediately to the instructions of the angel of peace. He teaches them to pray, saying, Pray thus, The hearts of Jesus and Mary are attentive to the voice of your supplications. The children obey and remain in the prayerful position for hours, repeating the prayer over and over again. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love Thee. I ask pardon of Thee for all those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love Thee. Am I obedient to the interior promptings of God calling me to pray? Do I say my prayers promptly, immediately, and with devotion? Do I thank God for stirring up my conscience and calling me to pray. At the visitation, Mary made haste to see and help Elizabeth. By her apparitions at Fatima, Mary again makes haste to come and help mankind, always bringing her divine Son to us. In August of 1917, when Our Lady appeared unexpectedly at Valinos on the 19th, Lucia made haste to call Jacinta from town, and Jacinta made haste to be present for Our Lady's apparition. Throughout her life, we see how Sister Lucia made much haste and many efforts to bring Our Lady's message to mankind which, when accepted, brings Jesus into the very center of our hearts as we become devoted to Mary's Immaculate Heart. Therein lies salvation. Do I respond with haste and eagerness to do God's holy will? Do I respond with haste and eagerness to carry out God's commandments? Do I respond with haste and eagerness to carry out the duties of my state of life. Elizabeth tells Mary, Blessed art thou that hast believed, because those things shall be accomplished that were spoken to thee by the Lord. At Fatima the three children believed all that Our Lady told them, and all that pertained to them came to pass as she had prophesied. For example, she tells them, You are going to have much to suffer. I will take Jacinta and Francisco to heaven soon. The miracle of the sun in October and the appearance of St. Joseph with the child Jesus, as well as our Lord, Our Lady of the Rosary, and Our Lady of Sorrows. Do I believe all the truths which Holy Mother Church teaches with the authority of Christ? Do I seek with haste and eagerness to help others believe all the truths which Holy Mother Church teaches with the authority of Christ? Do I give thanks to God for all the truths which Holy Mother Church teaches with the authority of Christ?
Third consideration, let us consider God's grace in both the visitation and Fatima. Our Lord desired to sanctify his forerunner, St. John the Baptist, even before his birth. This great spiritual gift was imparted through Mary. For no sooner had she greeted her cousin than John leapt for joy and was then cleansed from original sin. Thus, Mary was the mediatrix. The object of this was to teach us, as St. Bernard says, quote, that it is the will of God that we shall receive everything through Mary, that is, through her maternal intercession. At Fatima, our Lord sends his mother to intercede on behalf of mankind. We see again that she is the mediatrix of all graces. On May the 13th, she asks the children to pray the rosary in honor of Our Lady of the Rosary because, quote, only she can help you, close quote. On June the 13th, she says, quote, God wills to establish in the world devotion to my Immaculate Heart. To whoever embraces this devotion, I promise salvation, close quote. And on July the 13th, regarding a chastisement mankind justly deserves, Our Lady mercifully warns, quote, To prevent this, I shall come to ask for the consecration of Russia to my Immaculate Heart and the communion of reparation on the first Saturdays, close quote. Do I make a special effort to seek Our Lady's help and intercession, firmly believing that she is indeed the mediatrix of all graces? Do I make a special effort to grow in my devotion to the Virgin Mary? Do I remember to thank the Virgin Mary for all the graces that I receive from God through her loving mediation? Resolution. I resolve to respond with haste and eagerness. Here I encourage you to think of a specific time of prayer or one of your specific duties so that you can make a firm resolution in that regard. For example, I resolve to respond with haste and eagerness to my morning prayers 
at 6.30 a.m. I resolved to respond with haste and eagerness to my duty of cleaning the bathroom or cleaning the kitchen. And I resolved to practice such and such devotion in thanksgiving to the Virgin Mary for all the graces I have received through her mediation. And here I encourage you to obviously name this specific devotion that you are resolving to practice. It can be, for example, to pray a new prayer to the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Ave Maris Stella prayer, or the prayer O Gloriosa Virginum, the prayer Alma Redemptoris Mater, or the Ave Regina Celorum. A very good resolution that we can make is to learn and pray, pray and learn a new prayer to the Blessed Virgin Mary, or even something as simple and beautiful as resolving to offer flowers to the Blessed Virgin Mary on the first Saturday of the month or on every other Saturday of the month. These are just some examples of what you can resolve to do, certain devotions that you can resolve to do in thanksgiving to the Virgin Mary for all the graces which I have received through her mediation. Conclusion I give thee thanks, O God, for the graces which thou in thy infinite mercy hast granted me by means of this meditation. Please grant me the help of thy grace to carry out my resolutions and so please thee. Grant me a greater love of thee, the pardon of my sins and final perseverance. Most Holy Mary, St. Joseph, my dear guardian angel and patron saints, intercede for me that I may be faithful to my holy resolutions and grow in the love of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.